Now that we're midwinter, kids might be looking for something to do, and that's where our next guest comes in. Welcome, Ralph Crew of the Carnegie Science Center here with a fun DIY project you can try at home with your kids. Right, so this is one of the real classic uh, do-it-yourself science experiments to do at home. One of the things I love about it is the level of science you can talk about is all over the place. So you can do this with little kids and have a lot of fun with it. You can go all the way up to college chemistry with this, too, if you want to. So oh, I think wow. it's really okay. cool. Uh, and we're making slime. That's what I love about we're this. We're making slime. We're making Classic. slime. And I, actually, I, brought, I brought two different ways to make slime. And I've made it a lot, uh, but I think it'd be fun for you guys to get your hands dirty. So what I'm thinking is we'll do the classic slime first, which you use glue and then borax, like the same borax you would use uh, to add to laundry. And uh, we have a couple of options. Of course, you can use like the big old... Uh, white glue here. That's the biggest the, container of glue I've ever seen. We have, <laughs> we have like dozens of these at the science. Yeah. We go really? through a lot. Um, but I was thinking we actually have this this fun kind of glittery glue. You can make this with all sorts of stuff. So okay. what I'd like to do um, is have you okay. pick a bowl. It doesn't matter which one, and just empty that into it. All right, I'm going to pick whole the big thing. bowl, the whole thing, or as all much right. as you can get. It's really hard to fully empty a glue bottle. Yeah. I, I, yeah. <laughs> it is. I, <laughs> But there's something really satisfying about Squeezing this. Squeezing the heck out of it? Yeah. <laughs> it is, a lot right? of stress well. relief here. If, yeah, if you've been yeah. worried about stuff, if, like, <laughs> if traffic has been driving you nuts, just, just get it out. Get it out. Um, and this is the first step. Just get the glue Just get the glue. Okay. <laughs> Oh, this right. is going well. It's starting to make okay. those noises. I, mean, yeah. really I think that's probably good. I think we All can right. go with that. Um, and then we're going to add some water. So we have um, oh, okay. a pitcher of water here. And try and add roughly the same amount of water As to glue. glue. One of the nice things is that you can kind of do this by eye. Like you can you can mess around with it. If mm -hmm. you put a little too much water or not enough, you can keep adjusting it. Okay. okay. Uh, which I think makes it a lot of fun. And then you can use this Erlenmeyer flask, very sciencey, and just pour in. <laughs> I don't know, maybe a, a quarter of that liquid. So what is that? that so this is borax and water. Now what happens here is that the borax molecules interact with the glue molecules and almost glue them to themselves. It's a polymer and we call it cross-linking. You don't need to worry too much about all that. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, and now just get your hands in there. I know, oh, I just mix it, it around. I there's no spoon here. No, oh, I, I was kind of looking for that. You can do the spoon, okay. but what's the fun in that? What's the fun in this? Oh. So how long does this take? Is, is it's your... already happening. Okay. Um, and then once you've really got it sort of gelling up together, you can pick it up and work it together. As you work it together, the water that has the borax dissolved in it gets distributed mm -hmm. throughout the glue and it, the glue molecules all start bonding to one another and it goes from uh, liquid glue to sort of a jelly and then ultimately to like almost like a putty. Um, oh, this feels so good. This is uh, this is so <laughs> satisfying <Right. laughs> for some oh, reason. Okay. I can feel like the, the slime running through my fingers. Yeah, there's and a, it's, it's such a tactile, fun thing, <laughs> which is why it's also good for like, you know, really little kids. Although one thing I should mention, this is not Food, so do not do, don't, let don't eat do it. not eat this. Okay. Do you want to feel like, this, um, David? Sure. Yeah. Uh, Pass the slime like, Is there an age that you would say that is good? I would age say to you'd want to do this with a kid who you trust to follow directions. So maybe okay. a little older, um, but you know, by kindergarten age uh, or a little like, grade or two yeah. above, I think you'll be okay. And I think it really varies. You know, parents know your kids and know what's safe. But it's this isn't toxic. It's not. Okay. It's not super poisonous. It's just it's not food. So yeah. don't eat it. I it's feel like this too. is a trend too. I've been seeing oh, a lot yeah. of videos on how to make slime. So I want to show you guys the more science center way to do it. So we do it with this special chemical here called, um, it's called polyvinyl alcohol. What happened here, Ralph? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, why, Dave, why don't you take that and pour, okay. uh, you know, pour it maybe up to you there. You tell me when. So you can see this is almost like water. Like with the glue, glue is already thick. It kind of makes sense that we would uh -huh. get slime. Mm -hmm. This I think is pretty amazing because this is a nearly watery solution. Okay. And then why don't we add, I love green. So we're going to green, green up the too. slime. Growing up in the 90s, green slime was just sort of everywhere, right? <laughs> it was like on Double Dare. Remember yes. the show Double Dare? That's I know. what I think of. I know. And then yeah. this is an activator solution, which is also watery. <laughs> there are, get this off. <laughs> so why don't we do this? Okay. We'll, we'll, no, mix up, we'll mix up our green dye, and then just take this activator and squirt a few good squirts into it. And you can actually even oh, see if it I happen. can get it in the bowl there. You see those little bits where the water or yeah. where the activator has yeah. touched have already firmed up. Um, 
and you should be able to get in there and, and mix it up as well, and it will start coming together. Now, if you feel like it's not coming together enough, mm -hmm. just add a little more. Oh, I feel it coming it. together. I love how Isn't fun this fun? is, but it's science. Right, and you can go so many different levels with this, which is one of the things I oh, really, Oh, now this really, is really oh, sticky. Oh, now that is slime slime. Oh, I want to get my hand in here. Rain is not going to let us in the kitchen like this. <laughs> 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 yeah, very quickly. Oh, there but you this go. is very effective slime, Ralph. Yes, and right. I think it's really fun to see it go from so liquid to so gelled up uh, so quickly like that. And you can talk all about chemistry and the chemical reactions that are going on right. there. You yeah. can get down into intermolecular forces <laughs> if you want, or you can just be like, isn't this awesome? Isn't it's this fun? Slime. It's fun. Maybe um, we'll, we'll right. talk about the intermolecular forces after the break. Yeah, we'll we'll after go after into break. that. Sure. <laughs> There's lots to be had over at the Science Center. Thank you, Ralph Crew, very much for coming over and teaching us all this today.